Welcome back, guys, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. I'm joined here tonight with Caleb. Caleb, what's Step going guys. on? Hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> going pretty good. I'm just getting excited for Scream 6 coming out on March 10th. We're getting closer and closer. Woo! <laughs> I can't wait. Um, I know I say this every video, and I keep repeating myself, but I'm super excited. Uh, you know, it's the the nerves are getting to me because <laughs> being a big scream fan and now you going through all the scream movies um i'm sure you can't wait for the sixth one. Oh yeah no i mean especially the closest that it gets to that day i've been running through them pretty much maybe roughly a movie a day i just finished the fourth one yesterday and yeah. now i'm kind of like at the point of once I'm going to be sad to watch five because obviously everybody knows what happens in five, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Poor dude. mainly because of the feeling of uh, once I finish five, there's nothing else yet that I can watch. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm kind of like waiting till the days get closer like, so I can watch on. five and yeah. then watch six like right after it comes out. Yeah. And I'm excited. So before we get into our main topic tonight, I wanted to just tell everybody and remind everybody, I keep saying this every video and I'm going to keep doing it tomorrow. At 8 a.m., that's Saturday, we're going to be dropping a giveaway video. That giveaway video is going to feature, we're going to be giving away two free movie tickets for celebrating Scream 6 coming up. So I cannot wait for the giveaway. Um, in that video, it's going to have all the details with what you need to enter the giveaway. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the giveaway. It's going to be awesome. So watch out tomorrow at 8 a.m. That's 8 a.m. PST Pacific Standard Time in California. We're going to be dropping the video. So look out for it because we want to drop it early. I know it's early in the morning, but we want to make sure it gets out so people can watch it and get excited. So, And I think you said we were going to have that up for about a week, maybe. Yeah. So once that video is done, um, we're going to do the giveaway for a week and then we'll announce the winner next Saturday. So it's there going to be go. fun times. But so let's get into our main topic tonight, um, what you guys see on the screen, which is Emma Roberts. She was the main protagonist killer in Scream 4. Uh, Caleb, you're fresh with this movie. You just watched yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your thoughts going into Scream 4 and then ending it, Scream 4? I thought you were going to quiz me for a minute. And I was like, yeah. oh, shoot, I just yeah. watched this. <laughs> what was her hair no, it color? Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, I liked it a lot. <clears throat> I mean, I know we talked about, I think it was uh, three that we talked about the most. Um, yeah. More recently. That one, I'll just kind of talk about that one for a minute. But that one to me, I liked it because I felt like, especially with the the different voices that he was using yeah. um, to sound like each person, making them think that they're different you know, that it's everybody's friends, you know, that yeah. they know definitely messed with Sydney's head. And that's what I liked was a little bit, seemed a little bit different, you know, yeah. rather than it's, it's him, it's the killer. You didn't know who it was going to be because they played on that aspect. So that's what I really liked about three, four. I, I knew for some reason that she was going to be uh, one of the, one of the killers. Yeah. And that was mainly because it kind of reminded me of Mickey where, or even uh, Stu, where most of the time you would see them on screen for a majority of the beginning of the movie. And then all of a sudden they just went MIA mm. and we're just gone. Yes. And I kind of had a feeling when she left her under the bed, when the killer was in the house and um, she was like, you know, stay here, hide in the bed, don't make a sound. Especially once she was gone, I was like, Oh no, what's happening? Where'd she go? Yes. And yes. so I kind of had a feeling that she was going to be one of the other killers once she was gone. But yeah, that one I kind of knew. Um, I always blank on his name, uh, and I just uh, watched Charlie. It <laughs> Charlie, yes. Um, him that actually threw me off. Um, that whole scene where you know she Kirby doesn't let him inside, and it's like a heartbreaking scene too. Super sad. So sad. Um, so that was super sad. Finally, he says that she won. He goes out there, goes to help him, and then he stabs her. <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one I did not yes. see coming. Um, because I liked Charlie too. Yeah. I thought he was a cool dude. Just kind of. Nerd, nerdy quiet dude but I, yeah. I liked him as a character um so that one threw me off though uh so i think that's what kind of made it well worth seeing um mm. watching the fourth one was just that was it's nice to come in th as a new viewer to, yeah um you know, somebody who's new to the screen movies um so it's always fun to kind of figure things out with the different twists like i've seen a lot of movies that came out i, I can't remember what it's called um I always forget, but it's that murder mystery that's like on the train. Oh, yes. Uh, the Murder on the Orient Express. That one. Yes. Yeah. So that one I did like, and I think I saw that one with you and your dad. 
I think I saw that with you and your dad one time. Yeah. Um, but those movies. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I feel like there's something with those movies you could kind of pinpoint early on who the killer is. Mm. And that's what I've been been enjoying about Scream is even coming in as like a, a new viewer, a lot of it I haven't it hasn't really like hit me where I'm like, oh, it's definitely this person. Yeah. To me, it kind of leads you on up until that exact moment when you know who the killer is. So at least that's for me. Maybe I'm stupid. <laughs> but <laughs> no, uh, I get I, it. I, no, I get I've it. been I've been enjoying them though. I four I thought was really good too. What'd you think of the um man? This movie, Scream Four, had one of the most brutal deaths. Olivia scene, man. I know oh, when the you, Olivia scene. I, right after you watched it, you text me and you're like, dude, <laughs> Ghostface is brutal in this movie. Well, it threw it threw me off too because um when he was like, Oh, you know, I'm in the closet, she was like, You're lying, you're not in the closet. And he was like, yeah. I never said I was in that closet. Yes. You know, when he goes to the chocolates. You know, look out the, yeah, chocolates. <laughs> they look out the other window. Yeah. Um, that's when it dawned on me. I was like, holy crap, you sent me this clip a while ago. And I was like, is it as brutal as I remembered? Yes. And it was actually more brutal than I remembered. Oh, dude, it's so, brutal. Yeah. She gets destroyed. Like, yeah, so really bad. Like, which, especially watching, knowing how a five was, yeah. um, obviously, like, spoiler alert, you know, to people yeah. <laughs> you know, who haven't seen five, but just saying it because people are going to get upset. Chad, no you talking what. about Chad's death? Um chad when well not chad it was uh obviously dewey yeah you know that's that's like that's one of the most brutal, brutal ones that's super sad. sad but even then um i thought four out of from what i remember from five from seeing it yeah i think four had the most brutal kills mm. and it was kind of a little corny <laughs> yes <laughs> but um it's kind of the same thing as the uh what is it it was the black dude that's running around i think was it on three uh, Where, oh uh, remember, yes remember i know the, you're the talking funny, about yeah, the funny scene <laughs> tyson, i think it's tyson what was his name <laughs> i think so uh when he's running away and he you know he gets stabbed and he turns around and sees like, ghost oh, face yeah <laughs> yeah you mother he's running around <laughs> in the house yeah i had that same feeling from for uh the cop oh uh, both, yes both cops when they get killed willis and, yeah. well, it was like yeah F Bruce Willis. F Bruce so that one made me laugh but Besides that, I think Thor had one of the most brutal kills in any of the movies. Yes. And that was because, one, stabs the first cop, I think, like, a couple times or, like, slices his throat. But then the other cop stabs him in the head. Yes. And he's still alive trying to walk around. And to me, I'm like, if anybody's watched, like, live leak videos. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. that one, to me, was, like, very realistic where I'm like, I can kind of appreciate movies where you see a lot of movies people get shot or something they die and it's very quick they fall over they die instantly i'm like yeah. you're not gonna die instantly you're gonna start bleeding out you're gonna like you know movies have people choking on blood i don't i'm not a doctor so i don't know what body part you have to get shot at to start choking on blood yes <laughs> but that one's the stumbling around for me it's when people are like stumbling around they're trying to you could see them losing consciousness but then also basically their brain function <laughs> yes <laughs> that's what got me was i was like this is even more uh gruesome just with that fact and then um you know then you see obviously kirby and whatnot but the whole olivia scene that one very brutal <laughs> yes oh my gosh very brutal dude. yeah super Blood brutal battle. um yeah, and actually talking about Scream 4, um, you know, with the main topic tonight with Emma Roberts. So uh, there's something interesting. She was just on a podcast recently called Shut Up Evan. That's the podcast. And okay. um, she talks about uh, Nev Campbell and how, you know, we all know the news that Nev Campbell, Sydney Prescott, the main protagonist for all the Scream movies, is not going to be back for Scream 6, sadly. And the dispute has been over money. But before we talk about that real quick, there's actually a audio clip I want to play everybody. And it's basically Emma Roberts giving her thoughts on the whole situation. So I'm going to play that right now. I mean, I think it's ridiculous that she's not coming back because of money. Like to me, it's like if she didn't want to, that's fine. Right. But I just think I hate that we're at a time, I feel like in this industry where these kind of like big franchises or big shows or, you know, they act as though like, like actors are disposable. And it's like, well, we can just go on without the people that built it. And I, I it really makes me sad because to me, it's like Nev like made that franchise mm. and she was the most lovely person to work with like you didn't had no ego no attitude was the most welcoming amazing like leader when we were filming that movie and so to me it's like 
I just think it's so disrespectful to basically be like, we're not going to pay you. And not only that, but we're going to go on without you. And we're going to show you that this franchise can go on without you. I just think, I think it's rude. Um, Obviously we're at a time now where things are getting better for sure. Or at least if not better than more transparent, like I'm glad that it was out there that, you know, Nev wasn't getting paid so that fans could be upset and not think that she didn't want to come back. And I want to say to Nev's credit, as, as you mentioned, the fact that she came out and said, this is why I'm not coming back, I think was a really powerful move so that people that are outside of the industry can understand the fact that it's not Nev not wanting to return. It's a situation that does not allow her to return because she's not getting what she knows she's due. So I appreciate her forthrightness about that. Yeah. Whew. So... They just said some really interesting stuff there. I mean, what, what, what's your first thoughts of hearing that of maybe Nev not returning for Scream 6 mm. and starting, you know, Sydney Prescott? The whole reason why the movies are really happening was because of her. So her not right. getting enough money. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Um, well, so actually the first time I listened to this, I I got like far, far enough where it was just in the beginning. I actually didn't hear about um, them explaining the why. So this is actually the first time me hearing about the why oh. <laughs> of why she's not coming back, which which is good though, yeah. Um, because that actually shows that my my opinion kind of changed. Um, I was actually going to have an opinion where I was going to say, I think because one, they're introducing so many new people to Scream, and I'm not talking about fans, but uh, cast yeah. members that are coming on these uh, new movies. Um, as whether you have, if you have like these new final girls or you have just new cast members in the movie, because that's the thing. Obviously, a lot of people might not like the, like the Walking Dead. Yeah, <laughs> I kind yeah. of fell off early on, but that was the thing that happens. You have a show that goes on or a movie. When you have characters that are dying, you don't keep filming that movie or a show until you have like two cast members left. They're like, "Who's the killer? Is it you? Is it me?" Yeah, you know, you're gonna yeah. introduce more characters to fill up that space. Yeah, and so like with the walking dead. So you're going to have people on there. You might not necessarily enjoy on screen, mm. but they're there to fill a spot and whether that's to fill a spot and kind of hold that torch and keep moving on. Um, but that was kind of my, that was my first thought was, okay, well, of course, yeah, she made the show. Like she made it th this big thing. She is the one that kind of like started this whole thing. So she, yeah, she deserves to get paid um so i i agree with her like if you were kind of told hey you want to come on and it's like sure how much are you getting paid ah, we'll talk about that later and yes. it's just kind of like ah well we <laughs> thought you would do us a favor <laughs> like, yeah you know, that's kind of dumb especially you know you've been in what she was in obviously four she was in five right yeah she was in okay, all, I, all five movies okay i couldn't remember her being in five and so um that's kind of the thing too is you've been in all five movies here comes the sixth one all of a sudden they say just do this do this this solid it's kind of like why you know? yeah yeah and you've started this you made it this huge you know this franchise you made it this big thing that you're a part of that you started but they don't want to pay you so I, I agree with her that makes a lot of sense like i would be in the same spot um if it was not a matter of money yeah and that's why like they just weren't going to pay her at all if they were going to pay her i could see somebody saying well that's not enough money so I'm not coming back unless it's a lot of money. Yeah. Well then, well then that's where I'm kind of like, I don't know how many more movies we can have you in. <laughs> you yes. Know, where yeah. It's kind of like, you know, if that's kind of where it's leading to, you know, there's so many newer people that are in these new movies. Like you have Sam, um, and I, I forget her name, but it wasn't it her uh, sister, um, that was played, oh Tara, uh, Jenna Ortega. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, her, um, Jenna Ortega you have like those new people that are in the movie and it's like, sweet. Well then you can all of a sudden, if you're going to keep coming out with, you know, scream seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, eventually you're going to move on from original cast members, maybe keep people around, but they're only going to be around as long as who's going to be alive. Yes. Yeah. yeah they're only gonna be around long enough for however long they're alive for. So that's kind of my thing, but beings it's a whole, she's not getting paid at all whatsoever i agree with her like i wouldn't be upset you know that's that's going to just lead people to be upset at the producers and the directors and everybody who's making this movie yeah because they're the reason why she's not being included so she's essentially being shut out of this franchise because they don't want to pay her so yeah. she has every right to be upset and to not be in the movie one thing i wanted to mention too is that the screen movies aren't they're they got bought out i mean the original oh, owners really? don't so, own them anymore okay. that makes sense then 
Um, you know, they're so, they're being produced and written by Radio Silence. So, so um, honestly, I mean, yeah. saying that maybe that's why. Yeah. Because maybe maybe they realize that she's she's worth too much mm. that they don't want to keep her on, and because they pro- are probably because they're bought out. Obviously, they have more plans to probably make more. Yeah. Um, more screen movies because when were they bought out and which when did they buy them out like which movie do you know so yeah for screen five for five okay. yeah so so that makes sense to me if you bought them out and it's that early on they're probably going to come out with more of these movies and they probably just realize hey she's gonna be worth way too much money yeah than what we can offer for every freaking movie like if it's the last one and they knew it just pay her just pay the girl <laughs> That's yeah, what I would yeah. Say. you know just pay her you know it's gonna be that last one then make it a big one and then if you plan on moving on with the screen franchise by all means go right ahead but that i don't know it, it makes sense to me too if that's the reason why that's probably what they're doing is they're probably trying to not in the movie because if she's not in it but essentially kill her off so they can move on with other cast members who are new to it and if they have a bigger name in the industry they're still going to be probably worth less than basically what she's going to be worth in this franchise. Yeah. And also I was going to mention because radio silence has it now, you know, it's not the original people anymore. So Kevin Williamson, the guy who originally wrote the scream, original scream script, he is still helping them with the new movies, but he's just like a side writer basically. Right. So, and the guy who originally directed the movies was Wes Craven rest in peace. He's not around no more. Right. Um, but it's, I I was going back and I was thinking about this, like, okay, now you got a whole new generation. And well, a lot of times what people are doing, especially when new directors take it over is that they're trying to appease and please the younger generation. That's now, you know, well, how, how can we speak to the younger generation, introduce them to scream, but also introduce them to legacy characters. Right. Because if you bring on Nev Campbell, who's been around for a long time, no, nobody in the younger generation, like who's like, you know, 13 to 18 years old, they're not going to know who she is. Like, right. You know, especially if this is their first time watching well, a screen movie. So, and that's the thing too, I would say is, you know, coming out with this franchise to a newer generation, it's good to have like the hiccups. No, no worries. Um, coming out, you know, so it's kind of the, the, that, um, two things. One kind of what I mentioned before, which was mm-hmm. the whole, um, you know, killing her off so they can move on to newer and not right, you know, killing her off as I'm like, can't that being canon? I just mean like essentially writing yeah. her off, you know, the show and then just moving on. Uh, you know, Nev Campbell is I think they're moving on because for a newer generation, but it's like <clears throat> for original and I'm new to Scream, like we already know this, but for people like you, let's say, or people who grew up, you know, in the 90s, um, you know, that had watched it like when it first came out. Yeah. All the way till now, those are the only people who are going to be like, "Oh my God, it's Neff Campbell." Yes, she's in this new movie. They're going to have that nostalgia factor with it. All these newer people, if they're like me, where they're kind of like, "Oh, cool, she's back in the movie. That's awesome. That's cool." Yeah, but it's not that same feeling, mm. and I feel like maybe that's why they're kind of moving on. Is nobody's going to kind of you know um, resonate with that and have that nostalgia factor of her coming back? So they're kind of like, "Well, we want new, fresh faces on." in scream like jenna ortega and other people who yeah. everybody's like it's the girl from wednesday you know yes. whatever. like <laughs> yes. you, know, you have all these people these young kids going crazy over these newer actors that are their age people that they can you know relate to um you know i, I think that's maybe that's why they're heading that direction as they're trying to probably move on to um just a whole new set of cast members for the show yeah yeah and i'm I'm excited either way for scream six i'm always gonna love scream even if they make scream 20 in the future (laughs) i'm always gonna go watch the movies and see where the direction goes um you know because the thing about ghostface is it's not like michael myers where there's only one michael myers there's only one freddy cougar there's only one you know pinhead from um you know and it's like yeah yeah you know ghost hellraiser thank you i was was trying to remember i was was like like, wait a minute (laughs) um man i haven't seen a hellraiser movie in a long time uh you know anybody can put on the ghost face mask and do the killings right so you know um, and that's the fun thing about scream too is it's like you know like you said you pointed out with those different movies is they those are those characters you know who it is you kind of know their backstory 
it just continues or whatnot. And a lot of them, like, especially with Michael Myers, how it's a little more like supernatural, I guess you could say. Yeah. Especially with the Rob Zombie films. Yes. <laughs> we, won't, we won't talk further about those, but, uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> but well, with, like, Scream. Actually, in the original Halloween, sorry to cut you off, no, uh, the whole reason was uh, Michael Myers was being controlled by, like, a satanic cult. Um, hmm. when like, I don't remember it was, it was the curse of Michael Myers and that it was why the whole reason that he was the way he is basically. So it's funny you brought that up. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> but, um, what was it? So with, with scream though, like that's the fun part about it, about yeah. scream. Anybody could put it on for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And obviously that always usually ties back to Sydney. So that's kind of like comes back to that conversation about her not being on it is like kind of setting forward why are they doing what they're, what they're doing then yes because i get it if it's somebody else who's related but that wasn't really the point the point was everything always came back to sydney and what was it um i know i watched all of them but i'm still trying to get it in my head the uh you know chronological order of each movie but um scream three was the one with her brother correct yeah roman so with roman um that was kind of the thing was, you know, that was her brother. You know, it was always like, you know, the whole situation with the parents or what, what not, but it always led back to Sydney. Yeah. And so with that one, it was kind of like, you know, basically the, to me, I kind of took it as the whole, Oh, where you were always the favorite child, you know, they always liked you more than me. And so it was, uh, you know, everything always kind of led back to her no matter what. So with the new movie, it's kind of like, well, then what's the point of somebody putting the mask on? and kind of keeping on that legacy and like so it's like why are they messing with these other people i get it if they're related but i don't i guess that's just what i'm trying to figure out is if she's not going to be in it what's the point of all this happening yeah definitely. unless they take it into that i know we kind of talked about it in the comments with a few different people too and there's been a lot of good theories that i've seen so far um but that was kind of the thing was if they unless they take it to a route of just kind of that psychotic sort of killer Mm. sure then it can still work yeah where basically every year somebody is you know unless they're stopped or not but if they are stopped that city could just be prone to having a copycat killer every year you know so it's just something that's always <laughs> ongoing i just thought um, of something but with, i was uh, just thinking what, what was oh, it, go, ahead, go ahead i think it was sam she yeah. was saying the whole there's a darkness inside of me yeah i get it with that you know there's everybody has their different theories about it but kind of with that that's kind of the thing is you know, it could always be somebody in that family or, you know, friends or whoever that's always tied to it could just have that darkness and somebody all of a sudden just puts on the mask to become the next killer. So, yeah, yeah. I was knows? thinking that um, in this new movie or like imagine like Scream 20 and they like take off the mask. And they're like, I'm Sydney's 10th cousin and I'm here <laughs> to kill you or something, you know, like like how 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 much farther are you going to go? Right. Why are you here? <laughs> You never invited me to your birthday party. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So I remember a, uh, there was a meme where it was, um, they're going to make like Halloween, like 50. And it's like the night he escaped from the resting home or something like that. <laughs> like Michael Myers. He's like in a wheelchair. <laughs> Pretty much. So, but anyways, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm excited for Scream 6. I am. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, you know, I think it's interesting that they're not going to bring back Nev. I think... We're going to see our first screen movie without Sydney in it. So, but I did hear that they are going, they do mention her a couple times because uh, I yeah. guess, spoiler alert, Gail gives away the location of actually where she is for the movie and why she's actually not in the movie. Hmm. So, um, so I'm, I'm assuming what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to set up Scream 7 if Scream 6 does really well to bring back Nev Campbell. So, huh. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. But, interesting well so are they, so they going to pay her that next time then or <laughs> yeah I don't know I guess we'll have to see <laughs> who knows yeah well any final thoughts well, that, on uh, though. Emma Robertson um what you no. have to say she said it all right yeah <laughs> so yeah no I mean I agree like yeah like I said if it's, I don't want to kind of regurgitate everything we just said but yeah you know I, I agree with her you know you have five different movies that you're in all of a sudden they're like yeah no nah. And so I, I have no hard feelings like sucks as fans because like, you know, people like you or anybody else who has watched it that are like, well, that sucks. She's not going to be in the sixth one. Yeah. But I totally understand where she's come from and why she wouldn't, you know, that she's not, and it's not even necessarily her. 
it's it's almost like they're like so you're gonna uh you're gonna mark no on this form uh well why can't i mark yes Ah, just mark no. Yeah, just so mark like, no. Yeah, so it's like there's no actual choice there. They're essentially forcing your hand to not be on it because what you know? Why would you? I get it. If it's essentially doing a solid or more of just the whole, well, you're always in it, so just be in it. But it's kind of yeah. like, yeah, but no, because I yeah, have a job no. too. So and yeah, I don't I know what it. her history is like. You know, with you know, um, I forget the word, but I, uh, uh, you know, like royalties. Mm-hmm. We're not with the franchise. I like I get that, you know, with payment. Yeah. Um, I don't know if where she gets her other income, you know, if she's making money elsewhere. But if that was like a big money maker, I could see why that would suck too to be like, eh, this is like a huge project I've been, been on for years and years. And all of a sudden I'm not getting a paycheck for this one. Yeah, yeah. So I get it. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, all right, cool. Well, guys, um, thank you for joining us for another podcast and um we're excited just as much as you are for scream six and uh yeah look out tomorrow for the giveaway at 8 a.m mm-hmm. the morning that video is going to be dropping so sweet as always guys we are all things nerd and uh my name is nathan and joined here tonight with caleb and we will see Hi. you in the next video take care <laughs> take care <laughs>